International Human Rights Group, Amnesty International, has been given seven days to leave Nigeria for peddling fake news which almost plunged the country into anarchy during and after the NSAS protests. The Center for African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights, CAUSA, gave this ultimatum at a press conference on Wednesday in Abuja. Speaking on behalf of the group, Executive Director Princess Ajibola said Amnesty International amplified the claim that 78 persons were killed at Lekki Tollgate even without any tangible proof. We do not, however, find such logic in why Amnesty International, an international NGO with a serial history of weaponizing fake news and publishing jaundice reports about Nigeria, will deploy disproportionate resources to undermining the integrity of Nigeria even at such a trying time. The protesters might have made the misleading claim of a massacre at Lekki Tollgate and the lie that 78 people were killed, but it took Amnesty International's amplification of that lie for the international community and supranational organizations to wrongly accuse and condemn Nigeria and its government. According to Ajibola, the consequence was an arson which paralyzed Nigeria's economy with many businesses destroyed and dozens of policemen killed. Kausa therefore handed Amnesty International a seven-day ultimatum to leave, cautioning that failure to do so will attract civil disobedience at its offices in Abuja and Lagos. We have waited for several days and Amnesty International has not gone back to Arise TV and Charles Anyagolu with evidence that the Nigerian army killed anyone. It has instead ramped up its fake news and has further undermined security in Nigeria in addition to the wave of arson and looting that its lies against the Nigerian authorities had triggered. That wave of arson threatened the Nigerian economy to no end. It is shocking that this credibility challenged organization has continued to amplify the fake news it earlier published. We have seen Amnesty International's operatives running the security media houses to continue advancing the claim that there was a massacre. Yet, when Amnesty International Nigeria Chief Representative Osai Ojigo was asked on Arise TV by anchor Charles Aniagolu what the NGO's evidence was, she failed to provide a single shred of evidence. She was asked for evidence that any person had been shot by the Nigerian army at Lekki Tollgate, and she spectacularly failed to substantiate the claims she and her organization are still making without proof till today. From Abuja, Lawrence Audu, TVN News.